news recently uh, hit, uh, what, what was that last week, that Mandy Rose um, was let go by the WWE. So, and this is because she had um, apparently like a um, she had a um, she had content. Let's let's try to phrase this the right way, because she had con- uh, she had a little uh, not so much that she had adult content up, but just a matter apparently of how she, that the fact that she took that adult content maybe a little bit too far. So, from what I understand, right, for, for the backstory of all this, from what I understand, WWE was fully aware uh, that Mandy Rose um, has this channel. It's, it's not OnlyFans, something else, uh, fan, uh, fans only, not... I forget what it was. It's, it's similar to OnlyFans. A little bit different. Right? So, it's a paywall. Uh, paywall. Where, you know, I think at this point now, I think the people, uh, since she was let go, now they're paying $40 per month. $40 per month. So... And I forget how many likes, like, or how many followers or subscriptions she had on that page. But it was a, a decent amount of where she's, where you could be living, you know, very much comfortably. And apparently since the time that she's been let go by the WWE, that, what, it's been like a week now, she app- uh, apparently has made over half a million dollars in that, in that short week, um, or well, whatever, a week and a half, half a million dollars already. So, again, other WWE athletes or, uh, have, you know, various, like, they have their Twitch, they have YouTube, which, which is fine, and WWE knows about that. I believe, um, yeah, like I seen, um, I seen, um, Christina Baszler, I know she has a channel on YouTube, uh, on, you know, there's also people that go on Twitch and all that, and, um, they have channels as well. So it's not that, the fact that she had the channel, it's the fact that, um, she was, like, she spiced it up. She spiced up that content, and apparently, and the, the narrative goes, uh, I've heard that the WWE did give her, like, kind of like a warning, right? And she was continuing to uh, push the envelope, and, uh, you know, even, apparently, I heard from uh, various uh, sources and podcasts, apparently, also... She was also trying to kind of um, nudge other talent along to like, you know, hey, you could join this too. And this is how much money you make. This is all that you have to do. Look at look how much you're getting. So on and so forth to that extent, right? And that's when it just um, became too much. Now, the, now the, vi- the photos and the videos were leaked, right? But it's something that you like on that site apparently you signing a waiver or disclaimer or just saying realize that whatever you put out there um, on the internet on the website does not mean I mean it could be hacked whatever happens we're not responsible and you are ultimately responsible for putting up whatever you put up on this website and she did anyway and there's there's nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that at all um listen nothing even wrong with uh being paid uh like like she's being paid but the problem comes into play when you are 
part of a company that's a PG company and you have sponsors that um, and you have sponsors that um, do not like something and they throw up a steak or they, they throw up arms like hey what is going on uh, they want that problem rectified corrected as soon as possible uh, you know I and now you say listen um, and the, the whole Mandy Rose character kind of you know like a sex sells type of a character but remember it all comes down again to the sponsors they push that character to a point where they know that they could get away with and still won't be found or frowned upon from the, the sponsors and that's why they probably let her have that channel saying hey listen okay we realize that we this is how we portray your character this is you know how we it's all right continue to put, portray your character to that extent do whatever you want but just portray it to the extent that we portray it and don't pick it up a notch now when you pick it up a notch you get a warning you know okay you let it slide forget about it but then when you have you know a sponsor throw up up in arms it's like what can you do and these are one of their bigger sponsors this is a pg product type of a company like it's written out clearly in stone like you know i, I know i'm sure that and listen and not to make excuses and you know i, I don't you know i i don't know what her salary is Remember, you have to keep, you have travel and expenses and everything else that you have to factor. Now, she was in NXT. I'm not sure if that contract transferred over to a NXT type of a contract or a WWE. She was on a WWE contract. I believe she was on a WWE contract where she's released, I believe it's a... Uh, 90 day uh, no compete. I don't think she has an NXT contract because she originally was WWE. So I don't think you will be seeing her anywhere in AEW or TNA or NWA. She's NWA, man. A anytime soon. Uh, so it's going to be a while. And she honestly might not even need wrestling. I mean, maybe she wants to wrestle. Uh, she definitely has improved and she has taken it uh, seriously I don't think I think when she when she went down to NXT she wanted to prove her naysayers wrong and she definitely did improve a memorable title run basically she was NXT for the most part one of the marquee attractions of the new NXT um Toxic, uh, toxic attraction, a viable stable now led by in NXT, led by uh, her, uh, and everyone would always say, you know, that she was the second coming of Trish Stratus. So I mean, you know, that's you know, she's turned it around as far as in ring, and you know, uh, now this happens. So listen. I don't think that if she's gone from WWE that you will never see her again. Uh, she'll be back, maybe just not now, but eventually down the road. Uh, but, I mean, what can you do? Uh, WWE's hands are tied. And especially if you're just trying to still push the envelope, even... They even pushed it to the extent where, you know, uh, they didn't want to be pushed. And then you're trying to recruit, allegedly. And then sponsors get mad. There's really nothing you can do. I mean, it, it, I, I'm sure it was clearly 
explained to her. I don't see why it wouldn't it be, being that she was one of the major stars, at least in NXT.